And speaking of a hometown audience, you guys, mm -hmm. there's, I mean, there's been discussion for years uh, from people, Texans feeling like perhaps people coming from other states, <coughs> California, <laughs> are sort of ruining the vibe, ruining the energy. And there's been so, I mean, you see it all over on social media, don't California my Texas, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, and Texas Monthly did an interesting deep dive on exactly who is coming to town and I think you would be very surprised to find out that yes, while Californians are moving here, the, the studies are showing that they're not necessarily changing the political structure of what we have going here in Texas at all. No, there are people coming from California in great part because they don't like the increased taxes, they don't like the increased regulation, and they're coming here because this state promises to roll some of that back for them. I mean, we know that no state income tax is is a huge draw and I think we're probably a little too we, we generalize a little too much when we when we say everybody coming from California is a liberal we know people are at various places on that political spectrum being a moderate is not the easiest place to be or I should say a rare place to be it would seem when you watch cable news but no I can see that but I believe that the demographics of cities all over the country are changing as people migrate out to smaller communities right. that now have access to internet service and a lower cost of living. They can work remotely. I think we're in the middle of a shift of, of what our cities and small towns are going to look like in terms of what the makeup is. What's not happening, though, according to Texas Monthly, is other states getting Texans. We're known as Where are the, we going? Well, we're staying right here. We're the stickiest state in the country. Stickiest meaning that when people are born here, in general, they stay here. So about 82% of people born in Texas still live here. And that is that far exceeds the numbers in any other state. Well, and I don't know if anybody who's had a child here, this is unlike other states, they give you a little certificate and it mm -hmm. says, congratulations on the birth of your Texan. Almost like from the second they're born, there's like this ownership over the people who live here. So take it or leave it, but that's what you get. Well, and there's another thing that we say, those of us who've been here who weren't born here, we weren't born here, but we got here as fast as we could. It's the only way to get people to like you. It really is true. Yeah. You have to sort of play that <laughs> card. No, but I, in, in order of the number of years I've lived any place, my hometown the most, 17 mm -hmm. years, um, this is second, Me too. 10 years, and New York is third at seven years. And I had opportunities to go to, an opportunity to go to San Francisco, I said no to it. An opportunity to go to D.C., I said no to it. For a lot of the reasons why they talk about why people stay here, because we do tend to, I, I feel, uh -huh. put roots down in a different way. Or maybe it's because I'm just getting older and... and, and you don't want to move. And, and, you know, I'm like, <laughs> I'm not moving again. Well, luckily nobody's saying, don't main my Texas. Don't main don't my Texas. No. Don't New York my Texas. No, but I got the Yankee thing. You're a Yankee. Oh, people will say that to you? I'm like, I really? Know, what even is that? Well, so anyway, just rest assured, I guess, if you really like the political structure that you enjoy here or you like the way that things are, it seems like despite our shifting population, welcome to town if you're new, by the way, um, it seems like things are kind of staying the same in terms of politics and general family beliefs and mm -hmm. things like that. And I will tell you this, if you're new to Texas and you're not aware, the dri drivers here are fantastic. Oh my lord. And I'll just leave it at that. Oh my gosh, his um, nose is growing by the second. <laughs> Pinocchio up in here. I swear the tailgating is a crisis. All right.